UConn in the Big 12? Let's talk about the rumors. I am KG Chris Gardner of the Houston Round Ball Review. Just a few tidbits of info I'm going to share. We'll talk more about it on the next edition of Folks Talking Sports, probably airing on August 25th. But 2023, Big 12 Football Media Day. The Cougs, Houston Cougars' first media day in the Big 12. I was there. Small talk with a few people in the know and the discussion at that time was what about UConn joining the Big 12? UConn, the issues back then in 2023, was that 13 months ago at media day was, yeah, a lot of folks don't want the football. The football team isn't very good. They've been bad for so long. They'd be an anchor to the conference. But Brett Yormark wants them. Brett Yormark, commissioner of the Big 12. But the presidents didn't want them. Him and going back and forth, talk kind of died, especially when the four corner schools were added to the Big 12. Well, fast forward. It is August 24th, as I do this, 2024. According to a lot of national writers, the talks have gained steam, so much so that according to ESPN's Pete Thamel, the talks have advanced to the point where UConn Athletic Director David Benedict and Board Chair Daniel Toscano met with Big 12 ADs in person in Dallas last week to make their case Sources told ESPN about adding UConn to the Big 12. The conversations centered around football funding and how UConn could be competitive upon joining the league for football in 2031. Quote, I think the word is premature, a high-ranking Big 12 official said. There's a far distance between conversations and anything that would happen. The president haven't seen the case yet, end quote. Well, Ross Dellinger from Yahoo Sports seconded, says though nothing is imminent, the in-person presentation between the AD and the board chair is a sign of the serious nature of the discussions. Big 12 Commissioner Brett Yormark is set to make a similar presentation to the league's presidents next week. Expansion requires a three-fourths vote or 12 of the 16 members. In the latest version of the deal, UConn would join the conference as a member in all sports except football, starting at latest in 2026, contingent upon the school meeting certain investment thresholds in the sport. UConn football would join the Big 12 in 2031 pause right there the presidents are the key so i'm not sure if they have the votes for 12 presidents to vote in favor of it but times have changed maybe the thought process has changed last summer it was a no-go wasn't happening fast forward i think there's some who are thinking about it some who are in favor of it some ad's are not in favor of it but the ad's don't have the final say the school presidents have the final say. More to it. Andrew Marchand, Chris Vanini, and Justin Williams from The Athletic. In order to feel comfortable adding another school, the current members will want assurance that UConn's addition would not dilute their shares of league revenue. ESPN has previously considered adding more money to the Big 12 television deal according to broadcasting sources briefed on the talks. That's a big one right there. ESPN has previously considered adding more money to the Big 12's TV deal. As everybody knows, ESPN is located in Bristol, Connecticut, which is just 40 miles from Stores, Connecticut. Fox, the Big 12's other broadcast rights partner, may be less inclined to add money as it already has UConn basketball as part of its Big East package. Yeah, that's a, that's a big that's a big one right there. 
because overall, and UConn football at airs their games air on CBS Sports Network. UConn football is not part of the Big East package for basketball for UConn and other other Big East members. Oh boy, ESPN took UConn from Fox. Whew, that'd be something. But okay, back to it. Brett McMurphy from Action Sports Network. This is important. This is a change. UConn men's basketball head coach Dan Hurley is not against a move to the Big 12, a source said. He loves the Big East, but he understands the Big 12 provides more resources and more money, the source said. Sources said a key component to adding UConn is the current is the 16 current Big 12 members would not see a reduction in revenue. Other writers have said that same thing. This is from Don Mamori from the Hartford Current. So he's a beat writer that covers UConn. He covers UConn. For UConn, this is not about risking basketball to save football. Remember when Dan Hurley entertained the Lakers' offer? One of his concerns was whether UConn would have the resources to compete long-term in this rapidly evolving collegiate world. In the near term, UConn men's and women's basketball will be just fine where they are. But if there is an invitation to the Big 12, or a rebuilding ACC, it will be hard to resist issuing a quick yes from stores. As fond as we all are of the Big East and its conference tournament in New York. But there is also this to consider. Just how long would Big 12 schools expect UConn to wait before reaping the full financial benefits? If UConn which is trying to narrow its budget deficits, committed to spending additional money it would take to compete in a coast-to-coast -coast conference, pour more money into football, and wait eight or nine years for the revenue to stream to kick in, as SMU agreed to do in joining the ACC, that could defeat the purpose of such a move. None of these obstacles are insurmountable. If things align, I wouldn't use the word imminent, but it's inevitable. I believe that UConn will find a home in a major conference sooner or later. One can only be certain at the moment that both UConn and the Big 12 are open for business and open to doing business with each other. How about that? As massive a brand UConn basketball is on the men's side and women's side, it still does not compare to the revenue generated from football. Football is king. And that is what AD, UConn AD, Dave Benedict, Benedict recognizes and acknowledges. So we shall see if Commissioner Brett Yormark when he makes his presentation, has enough in the presentation to convince 12 Big 12 presidents to see things his way, which would result in UConn becoming a member of the Big 12. More content, more info here on the Houston Round Ball Review YouTube channel. Spread the word. It's more than just Ace Town Hoops on the Houston Round Ball Review. YouTube channel because the Houston Round Bar Review is a media group, media group. And since 1994, the Houston Round Ball Review, local name, global perspective. So you want to support the Houston Round Bar Review? There's a new way to do it. In addition to buying merch, you can do this. You can scan these QR codes. The Cash App QR code, the Zelle QR co code, or and or the PayPal QR code. There you go. Take a picture, scan it, and 
support the Houston Round Bar Review to help keep, keep the lights on, keep things going forward as we close out 2024 and look to do bigger and better things in 2025. If you like it this way, you can see it that way. Way to support the Houston Round Bar Review. Cash App, Zelle, PayPal. And as always, spread the word. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about the Houston Round Bar Review. It's not just the Cougs. Talk about the Cougs. Yes, it's not just Rice and TSU. It's Ace Town teams, the Rockets. But it's more than that. It's the Big 12. It's college sports. Thank you for your time, everybody. Looking forward to the next edition of Folks Talking Sports with a man, Willie Gibson, to get his thoughts on this rumor of UConn to the Big 12. We talk some college football, Ohio State, Big Ten, etc. Click on that bell, hit the like button, but click on that bell so you can receive notifications when new vids are posted here on the Houston Round Ball Review. Everyone, take care. Peace.